Hey there! Today we're going to talk about this ink. And if you see this bottle, you may think, hey, that's got to be a pelican ink. Well, it isn't. This is an ink by the brand Lindauer, which is a German brand. Lindau, I'm going to read you something from Wikipedia. Lindau is a Bavarian town and an island on the eastern side of Lake Constance, the Bodensee. I had no idea that the Bodensee was known as Lake Constance outside of Europe or whatever. Um, that's, that's not actually in Wikipedia, by the way. That's my personal remark. Anyway, it is the capital of the Landkreis, or rural district, of Lindau. The historic city of Lindau is located on a 0.68 square kilometer, that's 0.26 square miles, island which is connected with the mainland by a road bridge and the causeway of the railway to Lindau station. Um, that's pretty amazing. I, 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 I got this ink for free with a, a Chinese pen, which I bought via eBay from a German seller. I hope you can still follow that. Um, I, 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 I put this on my YouTube channel too. I, I said I got this with the, the pen. I have no idea what, what Lindau is. And then someone said, oh, Lindau, it's, it's a very nice peninsula, in fact. A peninsula, island. I, I'm, if it's connected with the road, I'm not sure whether it's actually an island. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that this is a fairly unknown ink brand. Now, the bottle doesn't look particularly spectacular. Uh, it says Lindau here, and it has a little picture of a, uh, I guess, uh, well, it looks like a firehouse, but it, no, it, but that would be in land with a with a, a statue next to it. I guess that is typical Lindau stuff, and people probably know what I'm talking about if they've ever been there. I'm not sure. It is a uh, a 30 milliliter bottle. It's a blue Linda. That's why I've called it Lindau Blau, uh, the German word for blue. Uh, it says Tinte, which is German for ink, and and then it says ink and encre. So it has three languages on there. There's no doubt that this, if you think this is suddenly a shot of whiskey and drink it, no, 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 it's actually in ink. It says so in three languages. Um, I think it's a fascinating blue. And that's funny because this is a brand I had never heard of. And if I wouldn't have gotten a bottle for free, I probably would, would never have heard of it anyway. I probably wouldn't have gotten it. It's a decent blue. It's something of a cross in between Parker Quink blue, which I'm not a huge fan of, and Waterman Florida slash now Serenité, uh, which I do like. Uh, so I, I, I think it's nice. Uh, quick drying, which is useful for some people. Decent blue, very legible, nothing spectacular, nothing overly fancy, so you can use this at work and you know won't get any strange looks like when using Dragon's Napalm or something. Um, a pretty cool ink, well behaved, nice, I like it. So that's what I'm going to do the entry on. And I think this is more than enough talk. It's time to do some writing. That's what we'll do next. I hope this is going to be useful. And um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. All right. There we go. With... Lindauer Blau. Let's start with a bit of fine writing. Up to this point, point, I don't see anything that doesn't remind me strongly of, say, Parker Quink Blue. However, when I get a somewhat wetter medium nib, things get a bit darker. It's a somewhat darker blue. When we get a broad wet nib, in other words, serious nibbage.
I'm just going to leave that at lazy, you know what it, how the sentence ends by now. Um, just to save some space. Let's have a look at some italic writing. Again, I'll stop at lazy. So here you have it. This is a very dark blue, which reminds me a little bit of Waterman's Serenité, formerly known as Florida Blue. Um, the triple passes test. Now just a single pass. I'll return to those later. I have the feeling this is a uh, an ink that dries fairly quickly. Uh, so I just talk for a bit, and I put my finger on that, and there is no ink. It's dry. That was actually already there. You see? So it's it's a, a fairly quick drying ink. So if you're looking for that, a blue that dries quickly, I think this is it. I seem to remember uh, Waterman Florida Blue slash Serenité Blue is, is a, a fairly wet ink. A very well-behaved ink, but a little bit of a wet ink. And this one... It's not excessively dry, it just dries quickly, which I like a lot. Yep, so we can do a second and a third pass. Well, that is two second passes, and then we'll come back for a third pass. There we go. Um, I'll just continue to write a bit, and then we'll come back to those passes. So here we have some flex writing. see some railroading. Maybe I'm pushing the pen too hard. Let's load a little bit of ink into the feed by just twisting the piston turning knob a little bit. Lindauer! Blau! Da gehen wir! Lindauer Blau. I think this is a very nice ink. Nice dark blue, exactly what I like in uh, Waterman Florida Blue. Okay, well let's, let's... Yup. Come back to that in a second. But for now, we'll do a little bit of medium writing. With some pressure to try and get some line variation out there. In there, through there, with there, near there. Not so easy with this nib, it's quite hard, but... Lindauer Blau. Jetzt schreiben wir mit einem breiten Feder. Ich weiß nicht, ob sie überhaupt Deutsch reden, aber es ist doch schön. Lindauer Blau. Eine schöne Tinte und eine schöne Farbe. Maybe it's easier if I speak English with a German accent. Und jetzt die Italic. Lindauer Blau is the italic nib. Uh, it's a very nice ink and also a very nice uh, color. Is that easier for you to understand? I have no idea. Uh, let's, let's have a look. I think this is dry. Dryness. Is that exciting? I'm trying to make this more exciting. Okay, so we have this, if you ask me, is close to Parker Quink. That has that weird washed out blue I'm, I'm not a huge fan of. I know that a lot of people are. For me, Parker Quink doesn't do a whole lot. Maybe it's interesting to do another shootout with, with 
Queen Blue at some point. This is already more to my liking, and I think this is a very nice intense blue. But I mean, to get this, this is a triple pass with a six millimeter nib. So that's I mean that's serious nibbage and serious serious inkage. Uh, but you can see that in the in the italic writing and in the broad writing, uh, you get this very nice decent shading I would say uh, not extremely pronounced but I think that's the case in most blues um, I've said that before and I, I sort of stick with that um, but it's interesting I think it's an interesting nice fairly intense blue color a very good ink okay let's have a look at some waterproofness um. Here we have an L, L for Lindauer, and maybe we should do some regular writing. I'll write something about Lindauer. And finally, this time I have a drier ink, so I won't have to wait for half an hour until this is dry. It's already drying up quite nicely. And so is that, I think. Yeah, you see that? It doesn't really wipe out anymore. So let us get the water. That's a lot of water. Okay, water test while that is drying out or drying in or doing stuff, whatever you like. I'll start writing up our scorecard. What have we got? We've got cleaning. Cleaning, I can tell you, is superb, really. It's an ink that will just flush out of your pen, you know, no second, second thoughts. It's just wham and it's gone. So that's, that's amazing. Uh, I, I really like that. It's a property Waterman's uh, Florida Blue has too, but this ink is it's great. Bleed through, I expect very little, but we'll see that in a minute. Then we have the collar, which is a blue, obviously. Then we have the shading. Well, shading is there. I wouldn't call it extremely pronounced, so I would say it's okay at best. I've seen better shaded inks, but you know, for a blue, I guess it's it's adequate. Flow is very good. I've had no problems with this ink whatsoever. Drying time. Well, you've seen it. Even with a six millimeter nib, drying time is excellent. Then we have waterproofness. Well, I'll check that in a second. And we have the feathering. Well, on this paper there is no feathering, but maybe on cheap copier paper there will be some. Okay, so how we doing? I'd say we're doing pretty well. Let's grab us a sheet of blotting paper. Do I have any? Of course I do. Just to get the water off. There we go. Of course now it's a little brownish. But that's okay. Um, writing is gone there, right? It's really, you can see that here. Parts of it are gone. And yet you can still see the shape a bit. Same goes for the writing there. It's not not really gone. Uh, it's not extremely legible anymore, but it's not really gone. So I would say waterproofness is okay. I've seen worse inks. I've seen better inks. But I think that's this part. Now we need a bit of copier paper, which we have right here. And with that, we are going to do another writing sample.
If only I had my little plastic shield to protect the paper from my hand. What did I do with that? It's gone? Oh, here it is. Sorry. OBKB. Fine writing. There's a little fold there, so I have to make sure I'm not hitting that when I write. Fine writing. Lindauer Blau, with no capital for Lindauer. I don't know why. Medium. Now we have a capital for the B. I don't know why. You ever have the feeling your writing takes over? And you don't really have anything to say about what's happening? That was a new experimental wide script. This is called my psychopathic script. I use that occasionally when I want to scare people. Um, let's do a bit of writing. With a fat nib. Blow. And then let's do a little bit of flex writing. Let's see if we can get us some feathering. This pen has flex appeal, but I don't see a whole lot of feathering. It's there though, don't worry. I can see the feathering right there. Feathering! You're surrounded by the police. Come out with your hands up and we won't shoot you. Come on, get out. Think of your wife and kids. Yeah, there you go. Here's feathering. Here is feathering. There's feathering. Here's feathering. There's feathering. Feathering, 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 feathering! It's over there! It's here, it's everywhere. But, I don't think it's extremely pronounced. I've seen inks feather a lot worse. And don't forget, this is cheap copy of paper. This was not apparent in the Rodia. There is no feathering with the fat nib, so that's a good thing. Uh, the only question is, what about the bleed through? Well, it's there. It's there for the flex writing. It's there for this f bit of fat writing with a lot of ink. But for the regular writing, things seem pretty much under control. Nevertheless, you do see a little bit of it. Every here and there you see a little spot. I'm not sure whether the camera picks it up, but it's there, believe me. When we have a look at the Rodia paper, um, that's not a whole lot. A little bit here and there, but that's just, I guess, the flex and the triple passes. Um, so I, I think this is pretty good. It's definitely not terrible. So I would say that in principle feathering is good, depending on the paper, the pen, the nib, etc. And um, the bleed through is good too. So, there you have it. Encyclopedia entry for Lindauer Blau. I hope this was useful. I hope you will give this little known ink manufacturer a chance. If if the blue is, is an indication, I think they make some pretty awesome inks. And um, that's all there's to it.
so we'll see you later. Bye bye.